thoughts on Prigozhin possibly back in St. Petersburg? Well, Todd, it's good to be with you. And I think Prigozhin is there at the uh, permission of uh, Putin because he's probably just settling up his accounts and uh, handing them over to the state uh, so he can go back to Belarus and live in exile. So uh, this will not be without permission and coordination between Belarus and uh, Russia, particularly between the two leaders. So you don't think this will be uh, an opportunity for retribution against Prigozhin? Well, the retribution against Prigozhin will be uh, taking uh, taking all his assets hmm. in Russia and taking them over by the state and uh, exiling him uh, in Belarus. And let there be no doubt, Putin is a person that likes to uh, uh, have vengeance on those who turned against him. So... I think uh, Prigozhin is going to be looking over his shoulder for the rest of his life. Yeah. Do you think he's in any physical danger? Uh, Todd, in a word, yes. Um, the picture just shown right now is a pretty good one because uh, Putin doesn't like people to turn against him. That was as close to a coup. Uh, it, it is a beast of his own making, but he's going to put down this animal at some stage in the game. But it won't be today, but it will happen at some stage in my estimation. Yeah, and I'm also curious, you know, uh, Prigozhin is, uh, was anyway until recently, uh, General Fraser, notorious for being extremely outspoken, criticizing uh, the top Russian generals, uh, it, you know, going after Putin indirectly. We have not heard from Prigozhin or seen him. There has been no sign of him uh, in more than 10 days. What do you make of that? Well, right after Prigozhin, uh, you know, agreed to the terms of pulling his troops back from Moscow, his social media site and, and access turned off. And I think it was a pretty clear message uh, to Prigozhin. You say anything more publicly uh, and you won't be looking over your back. You'll be looking right in front of you when somebody's probably pointing a gun right to your head. Uh, Prigozhin was going after and trying to, uh, you know, make a point. Well, he made it. He went too far. And I think right now he's living on borrowed time and he has to be, you know, pardon the pun, a good boy. Otherwise, uh, worse is about to hit him. So that's why we haven't heard from him. That's why his uh, troops are being quiet, because this is all about uh, saving uh, Pergosian skin and probably most of Wagner. Mm. Let me ask you about the attack on Lviv as well. While we have you here, uh, five people killed. Uh, this was a major attack, uh, the worst that's hit Lviv in quite a while. Uh, the implications? Well, I think it's a clear message uh, to Ukraine that uh, Russia can hit anywhere and hit as far west as it, in, in western uh, uh, Ukraine as they could. It was a terrorist attack to uh, terrorize the, the local citizens or no military value. It also will put pressure on Ukraine to, to determine where is its air defense assets going to be. Are they going to protect the troops or are they going to protect the uh you know the population but the other thing too that might that cross my mind it might also indicate that the ukrainians are actually having some success in their offensive uh, along that 1200 kilometer front so it's a you know for the russians is a bit of you know distraction and also just uh stretch trying to stretch the ukrainians a little bit more the counteroffensive, general just before we go has been going rather slowly um i'm obviously not a military man you are can you tell us if that is at all concerning that the counteroffensive was launched uh, almost a month ago now let's say three weeks and a bit um and yet it has been very slow i i don't think anyone should be surprised how slow it is because the fight before christmas was without mines the fight today is with with tens of kilometers of mines, and that is a very, very hard thing to do is to break through all those mines. There will not be any magical, you know, World War II breakouts in the, you know, sweeps and like that or in the first Gulf War. This is going to be a slog for the rest of 2023. Very slow, very much a killing machine on both sides. So uh, it's going to be hard uh, for Ukraine to break through. General Fraser, appreciate your time as always. Thanks for coming on the program. Todd, thank you.